Standard 5. What is the HR diagram? Where do certain stars sit on the HR diagram? And how does a single star evolve throughout its life on the HR diagram? Let's take Kelvin and Hobbes through this little adventure. It all starts with the axes. Well, what are these axes labeled? How do I, what do I plot from a star? You plot its temperature and its luminosity or its brightness. You put hot on the left side of the x-axis and cold on the right side. And you put dim on the bottom of the y-axis and bright on the top. And if you have a hot star, typically it's going to be bright. If it's a cooler star, it will typically be less bright. And if it's a cold star, it typically will be dim. Most stars that you see at night fall into this diagonal line called the main sequence. There are some cold stars that are so freakishly big that they produce a lot of light. They're called red giants. There's also hot stars that are so freakishly tiny that they don't give off much light. They're called white dwarfs. Now here's the crazy bit. A star doesn't spend too much time in a single spot. It will evolve up the main sequence as it ages, gaining temperature, increasing in luminosity, until finally it runs out of fuel and swells up into a red giant, at which point it'll collapse back to a white dwarf, and then it has two options, either explode or fizzle out cooler and cooler and cooler to die. Hope that explains it.